We just had a productive three days thanks to our friends at Core C, who sent over a pan-European team of interns to help us use six GoPros on a massive stick to swim a lawnmower-like pattern covering a 26,000 square meter or about six and a half acre area of coral reef. And with the images we get from this, we can use incredible new technology to generate a 3D model of our entire study site, which will be the biggest 3D model of a coral reef ever published. So the stakes are high, which is why we had to practice and practice a very specific protocol on the beach before getting into the water. And the idea is, Heather leads a predetermined path with a GPS, followed by two interns, in this case Ellie and Brigitte, who drop markers, followed by me with the camera stick, and finally the last intern, Martin, picking up the markers so we can use them again for the return path. So we practiced this uh, enough on land that we thought, all right, let's get in the water and give it a go. And as is always the case with, with field work, no matter how much you practice in your head or on land, getting in the water and doing it is always a reality check. And that was true for us too. We ran into some issues here and there. Everything was more difficult than we thought it would be. Uh, for me with the camera stick, it was just harder to swim with. This thing was like a sail pu pulling me in the opposite direction, uh, especially because we had windy and wavy conditions, unfortunately. Um, but we got our act together and uh, you can see the interns here doing their duck diving to drop the markers which was super exhausting for them so hats off to them for doing such a nice job on that. Um, these markers are essential because they allow us to geo-reference and, and set the scale of the map. Uh, and these guys did such a nice job that we actually decided to feed them. That's how good they did. Um, but in the end, we did cover all the area we needed to, which was great. Um, this is going to later allow us to generate this 3D map and unlock all kinds of incredible insights about reef fish, because we're going to overlay the fish trajectories on this map. Um, the one caveat is that we did discover, because of the wind and the waves kind of banging us around, our trajectories got a bit thrown off, so we may actually have to redo the whole thing. But that's kind of how research goes. You give it a shot and you try and try until you get it right.